In this video we're going to look at sales tax and commission and we're going to do the seven examples. Example one through seven. So we'll start with example one. It's find sales tax amount and then an example two find sales tax and purchase price. Example three is find total price given sales tax. Example four find the tax rate, the percentage. Example five uh, commission find the um, commission amount. Uh, example six, find purchase price given the commission. You know that commission is that, it's 11%, find the purchase price. And example seven is find the commission rate, the percentage rate of commission. Okay, okay so let's have a look at example one. If the sales tax rate is 4% of the purchase price, how much sales tax is paid on a laptop that sells for $760? So please press pause and if you want to write the question out that would be good and uh, pr press pause and try it yourself okay okay I hope you've tried it I'm gonna help you out now so we've got to get this is the purchase price okay don't we have to get four percent of seven hundred and sixty dollars right that's what we have to calculate so what we need to do is turn this into a decimal and and write that as an expression so four percent is what as a decimal four percent just remember four percent is four per hundred four divided by a hundred which is four hundredths or zero point zero four okay and of course the, the quick way of getting that is to take the decimal point and move it two spaces to the left and stick in a zero. So that gives us 0 0.04 or 0 0.04. Of, the word of means multiply. So multiply by 760. So what we have is 0 0.04 multiplied by 760 and we need to calculate that, right? Four times zero is zero. Four times six, twenty-four. Carry the two. Four sevens is twenty-eight, and two is thirty. So we have thirty dollars forty cents, right? Okay. Example two: Find sales tax amount and the purchase price. Suppose the sales tax rate in Idaho was six percent. How much sales tax is charged on a new car if the purchase price is um, $12,500 and then figure out what is the total price, okay? <coughs> so um, by all means write the question out if it helps you, it a lot, helps a lot of people to actually write all the words out so you can understand better what it's, asks, what it's saying. And then we'll try and do it together. So the sales tax rate is 6%. How much sales tax is charged on a new car if the purchase price is that? So what we have to get is 6% of 12,500. Okay? <clears throat> Does that make sense? So, I mean, this is the kind of the purchase price means the price before tax. Purchase price means before tax. Okay? So getting 6% of that, we've got to turn 6% into a decimal. So go ahead and calculate 6% of 12,500. Press pause and do it. Press pause and do this. And then check it on the video, okay? Please press pause. I'm going to do it now in a second. Okay, I'm going to do it now. So 6% is 6 per 100. 6 over 100 which is six hundredths or 0 0.06 or you could just take this decimal point and move it one two places to the left and given you 0 0.06 0 0.06 or 0 0.06 of means multiply multiply by this number one two five zero zero okay so it's one two five zero zero times 0 0.06 6 times 0 is 0, 6 times 0 is 0, 6 times 5 is 30, carry the 3, 
6 times 2 is 12 and 3 is 15 carry the 1 6 times 1 is 6 and 1 is 7 and let's see um, I can put down a placeholder 0 and multiply by zeros but what's the point in that so I'm pretty much done now right and I have one two decimal places in the question so it'll be one two in the answer so I'm getting 750 okay so 0 0.06 times that is 750 uh, dollars so the sales tax rate is six percent how much sales tax is charged on this car the answer is this is the sales tax seven hundred and fifty dollars okay now um, we have to then answer this question what is the total price well what we do is we take the purchase price which is twelve thousand five hundred dollars then we take the sales tax of seven fifty and we add them together and that will give us the total price okay so we take the purchase price add the sales tax and that's the purchase price or that's the total price so go ahead and add those what do you get zero five two carry the one three one thirteen thousand two hundred and fifty dollars is the total price right now find total price given sales tax if the sales tax rate is four percent it says that it's four percent and if the sales tax amount on a washing machine is thirty eight dollars forty cents what was the purchase price of the washing machine and then find the total price so we'll start with looking at the purchase price a purchase price means price before tax purchase price actually means the price before tax so we'll look at that first okay the sales tax amount is thirty eight dollars and fifty and that represents four percent so please press pause and we'll forget about this part for now just press pause and try to figure out how you're going to solve this. Just think about it, you know, write a few things down and see what you can come up with. So struggle with it now, try something, and by all means write this question out, okay, the words out, and then play the video and we'll do it together. But you've got to think for yourself in order to learn. If you're not thinking, you're not learning. You've got to think, okay? okay I hope you've had a chance to press pause and try it I'm gonna do it now with you slowly okay so the sales tax rate is four percent and the sales tax itself is thirty eight dollars forty so basically the thirty eight dollars forty is four percent of the um, of the purchase price if you know what I mean you could actually turn this into an equation and it would work out but I guess we're used to saying something like <clears throat> 3840 is 4% of what number right or no we usually did it this way didn't we we usually went 4% of what number of what purchase price is 3840 I'm just trying to anyway there's three ways of doing it but I guess this way is the one we've done most of all so you're probably like this way better I don't know whichever way you like it they'll all work but if we went 4% of what number is 3840 we gotta turn the 4% into a decimal what does that become move the decimal point two spaces to the left and we get 0 .04, 0 .04 or 0 0.04 okay of becomes what multiply 
what number? What's that going to be? 4% of what number n is becomes equals and 3840 3840 right so we have 4% of what number is 3840 basically and now you can divide by 0 0.04 on both sides and we'll be able to figure out what n is right because these guys will cross cancel and you'll have n equals this over this so we just need to calculate that so it's 0 0.04 into 3840 and I can't divide a decimal into something so I need to put that two spaces to the right on both of these of course so that's going to be 4 a whole number into 38 and 40 okay so 4 into 3 won't go but 4 into 38 goes so many times 9 times remainder 2 what's 4 into 24 6 and what's 4 into 0? Zero? 0, right? So we have n equals 960. What does 960 represent? We figured out 4% of what is that? 4% of $960 is 3840. So this is the purchase price, isn't it? Now, can you figure out what the total price is? Step two, what is the total price? Question, the next question. Okay, I'll help you now. What you do is you take the purchase price, don't you? Which is 960. Then you take the sales tax, which is 38.40. And then you just add them together. Sorry, this is really messy, but that should have been, you might know how to do this, I hope, but if you add those together, you get $998.40, and that is the total price. Okay, 998.40, because you're taking the purchase price and you're adding the sales tax amount, and that's what you'll actually be charged for the washing machine. Okay. Example four, find the tax rate, the percentage rate itself. If the purchase price of a bottle of whiskey is $32, and the sales tax is $6.40, what is the sales tax rate? What does this so can we figure this one out? Please press pause on the video and do your best. Just, you know, spend, let's say, four, four or five minutes and do your best to try and figure it out. And then check the video to see if you're right. But give yourself four or five minutes to think about this and to try it. Okay? And then check the video. Okay, I hope you... And by all means, write the question out. That might help. Write it out. Okay. Okay, I hope I've you've pressed pause and tried it. I'm going to go through it slowly now. Okay, um, so this is the purchase price. The 640 is added on to give a total price of actually 3840, right? So what's the sales tax rate? In other words, what percent? of 32 is 6.40 is the question. What percent of 32 is 640, right? And we can turn that sentence, or you might have come up with a sentence similar to that. Or you might have just come up, come up with a fraction and then figured that out. That's fine. Whichever way you do it, as long as you get the right answer, it's fine. What percent P of multiplied by 32 then what do we do is 640 what does is translate to when you turn this into a math expression or equation equal sign right 
equals 640. Okay? P times 32 equals 640. How do you get P by itself? P has been multiplied by 32, you have to divide by 32 on both sides, right? So what we get is P equals 640 over 32. And we're looking for this tax rate or percentage. P is a percentage. That's why I put in the letter P for percent. Uh, when I'm looking for a number, I stick in the letter N. Uh, like the last time when I made an equation, I put the number N because we're looking for a number, which was, you know, a, a dollar amount. And it, it doesn't matter what letter you use, it just, when I'm looking for a percent, I put P. That just kind of reminds me, oh, I'm looking for a percent, so I need a decimal, and then I need to turn the decimal to a percent, right? So 640 over 32, I've got to go 32 into 640, don't I? Right? To turn that, so I've got to turn this into a decimal, and then after I get into a decimal, I'll turn it into a percentage. Okay? So what's 32 into uh, 64? <coughs> Let's see, twice maybe, right? 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6, subtract, remainder 0. Well, that worked out. And the decimal point's here, and this is a 0. So this becomes 0 0.2. Write that as a decimal with hundredths. So right now it's just 2 tenths. How many hundredths is that? 0 0.20. So it's 20 hundredths, or 20 over 100, 20 hundredths. 20 per hundred is 20 per cent, right? Per cent. Now, um, of course, you could have just taken this decimal point and moved it one, two spaces to the right, plug in a zero, and you get 20% that way. But I, I just like to write it out to show you the whole thing. Anyway, what is the sales tax rate? The sales tax rate is 20%. Okay? That looks like the state of Washington to me, huh? Okay. Example 5 Commission. A real estate agent has a commission rate of 3%. In other words, they sell something, they get 3% of the sales price. Okay? If a piece of property sells for $125,000, what is her commission? <coughs> Press pause, do it by yourself, then check the video. And by all means, write the question out if you want to uh, understand it a little bit better. Okay. Okay, I hope you've pressed pause and tried it. I hope you've given yourself at least four or five minutes just to try it. And now we'll go through it on the video together. Okay. What I want to get is 3% of 125,000, correct? And that's what I'll, I'll have to do. So turn 3% into a decimal. And what does that become? <coughs> well, 3%, once again, I'll just remind you, is 3 per 100, 3 hundredths. As a decimal, then that's 0 0.03, three hundredths. Of course, we can just take this decimal point, move it one, two spaces to the left, <coughs> stick in a placeholder zero, we'll get 0 0.03, or 0 0.03. So 3% is a decimal, 0 0.03. Of means what? Of is multiply by 125,000. So, all I have to, what I need to do is take 125,000 and take 0 0.03 and multiply. So, three zeros is zero, three zeros is zero, three zeros is zero. Three fives is 15, carry the one. Three twos is six and one is seven. Three ones is three. I have one, two decimal places in the question, so I need one two decimal places in the answer. So I get three seven, oh, that's the decimal point there, three seven five zero, okay? And that's a dollar amount, three thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars. 
piece of property sells for that amount, her commission is $3,750. So selling one of those a month would probably do, right? Example 6. Find purchase price given commission. If a car salesperson gets 11% commission on all the cars he sells, what is the price of a car if his commission is $935? So look, um, this is the 11% commission. So you're given the commission amount, you're given the commission rate, you have to then calculate what was the original price. Okay. Um, now the the price, you know, the, it's the price without the commission added on to it, just the the actual price of the car. Okay. Well, well, sorry, sorry, long, long story. Yeah, it's the price of the car. You know what I mean. Please press pause. Give yourself, you know, four minutes to try it yourself and see if you can get the answer, and then we'll walk through it on the video and you can check your answer and, and get help if you need it. Okay. So please press pause and by all means write this out first. Write it out. And give yourself, let's say, four or five minutes. Just try it yourself and see how far you get. Okay. Okay. I hope you've pressed pause and tried it. I'm going to do it with you now. All right. A salesperson gets 11% commission on all the cars he sells. What is the price of a car if his commission is $935? In other words, 11% <coughs> of what is that? Or this is 11% of what number? You could do it that way. It doesn't really matter. You could say $935 is 11% of what number? That's another way of doing it. Right? Or you could go 11% um, of what number is 935, right? So there's, I might as well write them out. There's another way. 11% of what number is 935. I'm just writing out two different ways of doing it because they're both correct. So either way you can turn either of these into an equation and solve it, right? So any case, in any case, let's um, do this. We'll do the bottom one because we've done this one the most. So we gotta turn all of these into something, okay? So press pause and turn this into an equation. Turn this into an equation. You've got to put the 11% as a decimal. What is of? What do you do with what number? What do you do with this? What do you do with this? So press pause and do the whole thing yourself. Okay, have you tried it? Hope you hope you tried it. 11% as a decimal. Move this one, two spaces to the left. We get 0.11 or 0 0.11. Of means multiply. Multiply by what number? what number n the letter n is equals 935 okay so you have 0 0.11 times n equals 935 if you want to write out like this 0 0.11 times n you know like this if you like equals 935 just to make it a little bit neater that's that's fine but in any case to get n by itself what do we need to do n is being multiplied by 0 0.11 so to get rid of the 0 0.11 we need to divide by the same number and now these guys will cross cancel they'll leave ones and you must divide by this by 0 0.11 also so I get n equals and then I just need to do the division on this right so I have 0 0.11 into 935 now let's move the decimal point one two spaces to the right and also on the here you see it goes one two spaces to the right giving us a couple of zeros on that so this becomes the number 11 and this is 93500 zero, zero. now what does that become 11 into 93 9 11s is 99 so that will be one less than 9 11s it'd be 8 11s is 88 right 8 11s, 88, subtract, what's 93 minus 88? It's 5, right? Bring this 5 down, 
What's 11 into 55? 5, right? 5 11's 55. Subtract 0. And then 11 in, and that's the remainder 0. But look, 11 into 0 goes 0 times. 11 into this 0 goes 0 times. So you still need a couple of zeros at the end. Don't forget that. Okay, so we end up with n equals 8500. What does n represent? The car salesperson gets $935, and we were looking for the price of the car. Price of the car was the number. 935 is 11% of 8000. 500 apparently, right? The answer is $8,500. $8,500. Example 7 commission, find the commission rate. A realtor makes a commission of $4,400 on an $110,000 house she sells. What is her commission rate? Please press pause, give yourself four or five minutes, and try and do this on your own. Um, and by all means, write the question out if you need to, okay? And then check the video. So press pause in the video, give yourself four or five minutes, do, do your best, and then check the video, okay? Okay, I'm gonna hope you've tried it, I'm gonna do it now. We want to find the commission rate. So I guess we're trying to figure out what percentage, right? What percent of this is this? Does that make sense? What percent of 110,000 is 4,400? Isn't that what we're trying to figure out? Or you could say 4,400 is what percent of uh, 110,000, whichever way you want to do it. But uh, so there, there's a couple of other ways that are of doing it. There is also many wrong ways of doing it, but there are at least two or three right ways of doing it. This is the way we've been doing it mostly. You start with the what percent, I guess. So please press pause and turn this into an equation, a math equation. Press pause and turn it into a math equation. Okay, I'll do it now. What percent, I usually like to write P, of multiplied by 110,000, so it's P times that, right, is equals 4,400, okay? So to get P by itself, I divide by 110,000, and these guys cross cancel, but I must divide this side also by 110,000, okay? So we get P on the left, and all I have to do now, haha, is turn this into a percentage. How are you going to turn this into a percentage? Well, it's a fraction right now. Don't we have to simplify the fraction, maybe? Let's start with simplifying the fraction. Okay. Now let's see. I'll leave that there. Sorry. Okay, now. So we have 4,400 over 110,000. Can't we cross some zeros off by dividing by top and bottom by 10? So at least I have um, 44 over 1100. Zero, zero. So there's a start. What can d you divide by now? Well, this is an even number on the bottom, and we've got 44 on the top. You can divide the top and bottom by 2. I'm going to guess that 4 goes into top and bottom as well. So look, 4 into that goes once, 4 into that goes once. 4 into 11 goes uh, twice, remainder 3. 4 into 30 goes 7 times, remainder 2. 4 into 20 goes um, 5 times. 
so I get 11 over 275. Now, 11, you can't see, it's almost impossible to see whether 11 goes into this or not. But, I know this is a factor of 5. So, this is 5 times what? 5 times what gives 275? I'm asking you to factorize 275. Okay? 5 times what gives 27? 5 times 5 remainder 2 and then 5 into 25 is 5. So this is basically I'm just trying to show you I have 11 over 5 times 55. Now can you factorize the 55? What's 55? 55 is 5 times what? 11, right? And this guy comes down. So what I have is 5 times 5 times 11. So when I factor the 275, I mean, I've just broken it down a lot. When I factor 275, I get 5 times 5 times 11. You see that? And now, can you cross cancel something now? You can cross cancel common factors. When you have things being multiplied on the top or bottom of a fraction, you can cross cancel. 11 into 11 goes once. 11 into 11 goes once. So this gives me 1 over 5 times 5 times 1, 25. Okay? 1 over 25. So I end up with uh, P equals 1 over 25. Now I still want to turn that into a percentage rate. <coughs> so I guess I need to do a long division, right? I need to go 25 into 1 to calculate that as a percentage, right? So, of course, I need, I'll stick on a couple of zeros. What's 25 into 1? What's 25 into 10? What's 25 into 100? Well, it's 4 times, right? 4 times 25 is 100. Subtract and remainder 0. <coughs> now, where does the decimal point go? goes up here. And it was kind of like 25 to 1 goes 0 times, put up the decimal point. 25 into 10 goes 0 times. See that? 25 into 100 goes 4 times. So the answer is 0 0.04. And what is that as a, so this is, I have now have P in the form of a decimal. Calculate P as a, what's that as a percentage? 0 0.04. As a percentage, that is what? Now remember, 0 0.04, of course, is 4 tenths or 4 hundredths. 4 hundredths, right? 4 per hundred or 4 per cent, right? Or you could just take this decimal point, move it one, two spaces to the right, and now call this 4 per cent. So that's the answer, 4 per cent, right? And one other thing I want to show you, a little trick, is when we were at that stage with a one over, when P was 1 over 25, okay, instead of doing the long division, we could have done this. I just want to show you this so you've seen it. You don't have to use this if you don't want to. But 1 over 25, if I want to turn that in, if I turn that into an equivalent fraction with 100 on the bottom, 25 times what gives 100? 25 times what gives 100? 25 times 4, right? But if I multiply the bottom by 4, I must multiply the top by 4. And 1 times 4 is 4. So 1 over 25 is equivalent to 4 over 100. And 4 hundredths is 4 per hundred or 4 per cent. So that's another way of doing it. Yeah, anyway, just, just to show you that. But either way, if you get 4 percent, you're correct. So it doesn't matter which way you do it. But I just wanted to show as many things as possible so we can understand as much math as possible.